So this happens to be one of those episodes where like all of my questions are sexual questions and you happen to turn up in a fancy red dress. Look at you. What? <laughs> this is like not that. I mean, uh, Jane, I, I, compared to compared to how episodes, I normally show yeah, up here in a hoodie. About? You're like Cinderella today. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I had little mice help me get ready. Uh, I, I have dinner tonight. Yeah, okay. you know, I just, I don't know how to dress. I don't know what I'm doing unless I'm in a hoodie. Sorry. I just, no, I just didn't want you thinking like, because you're dressed like a hussy, I'm asking you all these sexual questions. I'm you know not what dressed I mean? like a hussy. <laughs> I'm, I'm dressed kidding. like a senorita. I don't even know what a hussy means. It's just something. Um, That's something my dad would say. Yeah. Hussy. A little chippy. Um, so what I want to talk about here is because I had, so I guess when I got on the dating apps, it was four years. So I was maybe 34, 35. And I guess when they ask you for your age ranges, I think I put like, you know, 25 to whatever, fucking 50. Mm -hmm. And now the 50. other- 50? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with, yeah, I'm, I'm all right with that. The last girl I dated was older than me and I'm 39. But 50? Well, she's 42. That's... Yeah, but I mean, no, I probably, but listen, there's those rare, you know what I mean? Like okay. there's those rare, um, I'm not looking for a 50 year old. I'm just, they're asking a range, you right. know? And I'm kind of like, okay, Respect. I don't want to be, I like it. yeah, I, you know, it's probably- because even if I was like, going to be strict, what would it be, 46? You know, so I'm just right. like, yeah, fine. I'm not okay. like. Anyway, now, like, you know, I recently matched with a girl who was 25. And like, and, and as soon as I saw 25, I was like, I think Too I got to move it up. I, do, I think I'm I think I'm hitting. A, you got to move it to 30. Yeah. And I was like, I th oh, no, I think I think 28. I think 28 all right. I don't have to go to 30. Th I'm, I'm still in my 30s. I Here's the thing, Rob. A 28 year old. <laughs> girl even a 30 year old girl to be quite honest they're gonna want kids most likely there's a lot of women out there who don't want kids. you just hang with only mommies so you're like oh we all love Maybe. these kids there's a lot of women who are not like isn't there a new lane of tiktokers what is it called Th there's a new lane of tiktokers if you look and people are like so angry at them where it's like uh what is it called when two two people don't want to have kids oh dink yeah 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 they're yeah. dinks dink? Yeah, double income, no kids. Yeah, so can you guys look up your dink? Your boy's a dink. Let's go. Yeah, oh yeah, me too. Let's you go. You a dink? So Hell that's what yeah. you should put on your profile. Oh, no, I'm a, I'm a dink. I'm a sink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a single income, no kids. Sink looking to turn into a dink. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Sink open know. a dink. Can you look up a uh, dink TikToks? And like people are so annoyed and they are so annoying. It's like, what are we going to do today? It's like, I'm gonna we're going to have cereal and then we could go to the farmer's market and then we're going to do this. No, you, you a slink, by the way. A slink? Yeah, fucking shitload of income without <laughs> kids. <laughs> We're dinks. We go to Trader Joe's and workout classes on the weekends. We're dinks. We get into snobby hobbies like skiing and golfing. Uh. We're dinks. We can go to Florida on a whim. We're dinks. We're already planning our European vacation next year. Dinks. We get a full eight hours of sleep and sometimes more. <laughs> <laughs> We're dinks. We get desserts and appetizers at restaurants. We're dinks. We can play with other kids and give them back. <laughs> We're dinks. We still do it three times a week. We're dinks. We spend our discretionary income on $8 lattes. <laughs> We're dinks. We max out our 401ks, Roth IRAs, and HSAs. We're dinks. We don't use our kids or dog as an excuse to leave a party. We just leave. <laughs> yeah, when I was growing up, we had a different word for people like that. It wasn't dinks, but... I just really didn't like how those days. two were like laughing at themselves. Uh, it's just... And like, uh, I'm a... Uh, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I just Well, that's hate a thing. That... That thing is. That's what I'm, I oh, hate it. Oh, the talking to the camera, like I'm a whatever. <laughs> no, 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 but just like like walking, and he's like sideways, like he's doing a fucking. But that's Broadway. a that's a trend right now. Yeah, yeah I hate oh, it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not into it. It's, Any it's, everyone could do it. It's I'm not, I'm just not gonna dinks. like it. Okay, it's not yeah, just yeah, yeah. dinks though. I'm just saying, like that's a thing. Like I've seen one for people pleasers. I've seen one for whatever. Tom and Bert did one. Oh, they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for the, for what the, are they uh, for the alcohol? Oh. They're like, oh, we're best friends. We do da 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 da. Were they walking like that? Uh, yeah, throughout the lobby. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking. Look it man. up. Look it up. Drinking used to be cool. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Back in my day, you were cool if you got fucking <laughs> drunk. Um. Yeah. I don't, so what were we talking about before? Before the dinks? dating apps. And oh ages. yeah, yeah, yeah. With ages. So yeah, I think because here's the deal, right? I'm. 
I'm 39 on paper, but I'm 65. Right. Really. Yeah. Like the way I live. Your lifestyle. And yeah, it's just not, it, it's not something that like a, because like, you know, I was somewhere in person the other day talking to a girl who was like, you know, 23. And I'm like, do you have any idea how different we are? Like, you know what I mean? Where she was like, no, you're not an older guy. And I was like, I'm, I'm 65. Like, I really am just the oldest 39 year old yeah. in the world. I'm like, I'm, if I'm not playing poker, I'm laying in my bed at 8 p.m. I might not go to bed until two, three, right. four, five, six, right. but. Let's see. Let's. He wants to show. He okay. wants us to make fun of Bert and Tom. Basically, we're best that. friends. Of course, we share toothbrushes. We're best friends. Of course, I'm going to watch your dad shower. We're best friends. Of course, we've seen each other's dicks. We're best friends. Of course, I'm going to tell you you're fat. We're best friends. Of course, we hate the same ethnicities. We're best friends. Of course, I'm going to dig through your trash and steal your identity. We're best friends. Of course, we have a wife murder pact. We're best friends. Of course, I'm going to force you to drink from my colostomy bag. We're best friends. Of course, we've had our dicks tethered together and been electrocuted at the same time by a dominatrix. We're best friends. Of course, we're going to secretly sign each other up on Raya. We're best friends. Of course, I signed them up for Grinder. We're best friends. Of course, we're going to massage each other's prostates. We're best friends. Of course, we come at the same time. I will. I will not be doing this with you, Jamie. Just, just no, so everyone. No, I would never ask you to. Don't this you worry. This is not a. I mean, it's different that they're doing it because they're obviously making fun of it. So right. they're just saying how fucking ridiculous and stupid the whole thing is. But like, if I and by the way, I've had instances like this where like I'm dating a girl and something is going on. She's like, "Oh, we should do that," and I'm like, "Don't ever say something like that to me again." Because do something I, trendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If I, there's nothing that could turn me off more than if a girl's like, "Oh, we should." Go take a picture that, or do we should do a TikTok? I'm like, you, Not for I you. am like, um, I don't want to have sex for the next three days. Yep. Yeah. If someone's yeah. like, we should do a TikTok, like, there's a viral TikTok going on. We should do it. Oh my god, the last girl I dated, no social media, and I was like, this is why we yeah. get along. Yeah. You know, like that was one of the first things we talked about. Like, neither of us had social media. I was like, oh, I love you. Like, yeah, it made that, me like her so much right away. Of course. Yeah. Of course. That's an anomaly now. Right, and it doesn't have anything to do with like her not asking me to take pictures of her. I just think it's awesome that like she's not looking for right. like you know reassurance from strangers. Like I listen, and I totally get it if it's somebody's job. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if it's somebody's like I want to be famous, so I make this thing. But if somebody's just like, uh, what? Like if somebody's a teacher and then they're recording themselves at like drive-throughs at Dunkin' Donuts, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like it makes yeah, me angry. social media in general has really been kind of bumming me out. I, I get it for using it for promotion, for projects and things like that. And I am i don't want to seem hypocritical because I used to post a lot about my family and what we were doing. And like over the last couple of years, as soon as I would go to post, I'd be like, who cares what I'm doing right now? Like I would feel this feeling like nobody actually gives a shit how my son did in his baseball game or what I'm eating or what I'm wearing. So I just stopped posting. And if they do give a shit, they would also give an equal shit about whatever the next thing they saw is. You know what I mean? Of course. If it's like, oh, there's a butterfly on my fence. And it just, yeah. And I just didn't feel like, not that I don't care. I love watching other people's lives because I'm just like, I love it. But (laughs) I, I just, I don't know. I don't think mine is like exciting enough, but to use it to promote like, Stuff on our podcast or whatever, I'm totally down for. But I don't know, social media and me, like I just don't feel like I have a place. Like I'll, I'm always reposting like inspirational quotes. That's like what my page has become of or, or things that I find meaning. Because I really feel like it's you're putting out you who you are and what your opinion is pretty hard. And I just, if I'm going to do that, it's not fair to me to put other people along with me. Do you know what I mean? Including like my husband and my kids. Well, I think it's, if you want to be a public figure, I think social media is great. But if you don't, like, what are you really doing? Like, why are you putting this thing? And also, if I want my friends to see me, uh, you know, I'm on a cruise, I want to have a phone call with them for 30 minutes and be like, yo, I went on this cruise and we Mm -hmm. actually like bond and have a conversation. I guess it's a way for people to have, continue to have relationships without having to have a phone call. There are people that really like to have connections with a lot of people, but you who has the bandwidth obviously to text and call everybody all the time? You don't. So it's a way to have all of, it's like, I can still say I'm friends with a lot of people that I grew up with because we DM every once in a while. 
Yeah. We, you know what I mean? Well, like they, we they still say, have a little bit of a connection, but we're not, we don't talk that much. They say friends are like a dollar. I'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies. Word. Sit with that. Yeah. Sit with that for a well, little bit. quality real friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'd rather have four quarters. Like I'd rather have four real friends than like, oh yeah, I follow a hundred people on it. And like, we're all kind we like touch base every night. Like get the fuck out of yeah. here. I don't want any... I don't, I don't want any, like, how, like, you know what I mean? I just have, like, my fucking four quarters where it's yeah. like, hell yeah. Like, yeah, you know, I love these people. love seeing my phone yeah. fucking go off when it's them. But, uh, so, obviously, I've been off social media forever. I don't know, 10 years or some shit. You were on but, it for a second only. Yeah, I was only on it for a second. But I recently have started seeing, actually, kind of stuff like that. But where, like, there's YouTube shorts that'll pop up for me on YouTube. And it's like, people are acting on social media now. Like, Everything is fake. And then people like in the comments, you read the comments and people think it's real. And you're like, man, what a bunch of what idiots. Like, you know, there will just be like a, a girl like cooking in her kitchen or whatever, where like it's very clear she knows the camera's on her. And then like the boyfriend comes up and like does something that's like, oh, my God. Oh, like, can but you isn't believe? that like isn't that what vines were and stuff? Maybe. We're yeah, like maybe. these little videos of people because people got like careers out of being Vine stars because they were like m making up scenarios and making them outrageous videos as if they were really happening, but they were all fake. But I also feel like if I remember right, I don't know about like Vine or whatever, but I feel like with Vine, it was like, oh, this person does that. You right. know what I mean? Like their whole thing is I do pranks, I do skits, I do yeah. whatever. Where now it's like, you can't tell the difference. It's a couple. And they're pretending like this is their real life, but then it's like, oh my God, we're, we're so crazy. Like, you know, and you're like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong? Like, it's like these people acting for like 300 people putting on skits in their house. I'm like, what are people doing? Like, they're trying when, to be creative. When I was watching social media when I was on it, like, everything was real. Like, you know, right. people would be like, oh, here I am at this thing, or like, this is what's happening and like funny stuff. Where now it's like, oh, all this shit is like fake. Yeah. Stuff. Like, you're, you're, actors for but you're also like an accountant what like i don't I, I don't know it's just very confusing when i saw this stuff start popping up on my feed and i was like i don't yeah i follow i i, I i've seen a couple of like businesses do it you know what i mean right like, right right yeah yeah, yeah. and the, the annoying thing to me is like you know and not, i don't know if it's because obviously people in the comments don't get it so it's like i don't know if you just need common sense or to be an actor but like when you see the beginning and you see the phone on the person and they're like cooking you know they know there's a camera on them like the way that they're acting it's not natural. Right. They have like their hair and makeup or like, you know, right. and you're like, this is so fucking stupid. And then the comments, it's like, yo, he really did that to her. Like, and you're like, what? Like, it's just crazy to me how fucking dumb people are. I guess. Welcome um, to 2020. Four, I, are we in 24? <laughs> Confirmed. It's 2024. Thank you. Thank you. Did you think it was 20? I thought we were 25. I couldn't, I couldn't remember. Whoa. See, kids, you got to be a dink. I know exactly what fucking. <laughs> What year it is. Um, I'm not a dink. I don't know what year it is. <laughs> yeah. It's, everything's the same to me because yeah. I'm miserable either way. <laughs> what, when you, so I want to know from the booth, <laughs> I want to, <laughs> I want to know from the booth, uh, what, what do you think a proper age, age range on a dating app is for a guy who's 39 years old? Um, I don't, I don't know if there is an appropriate besides like, fucking legal i don't know yeah whatever if you like old bitches maybe you like old bitches I don't know. but let's, let's go to the low end so you're saying if if, if my age range was 18 to oh to nah i mean I that's guess, legal all right to be fair now nah, that's gross all right i agree up. all right so what you said 39 i'm 39 oh, shit i was only thinking old i forgot yeah young's kind of gross uh ooh, i mean i'm 33 i'm not i'm not going past 26 27 so like yeah i'd say like 28 would be mine um, so 39, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it feels like to be 39, but I would assume, yeah, around that, like 29, 30, something like that. That's what I would probably say. All right. What Just because it's else? different worlds, you know? For sure. Know. What is everybody else thinking? I always think about Lisa Vanderpump and Ken. They have a like 12 year age gap mm -hmm. and they're quite successful oh yeah so if they can be that far apart i feel like it's possible for other Wait, people what are their ages though <sighs> 90 and 80 Gross. she was like early 20s when she met him right yeah or even younger early 20s jamie how, how far apart are you and cutter eight years eight years tanner what do you think is appropriate well you're you're a young buck you for you 
Yeah, for a 39 year old guy. Yeah, I'm me, I'm 39. Um, I'd stay like I'd stay away from the low 20s. That's a little creepy. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna talk to me about? You know. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Um, yeah. I struggle to talk to a 30 year old woman. <laughs> yeah, maybe like 34, and then like 34. Yeah, no, like 34. <laughs> hold on, like 30. Just like gonna... just fish. You know, get the older fish. I like they've they've been swimming for longer. I don't know. I feel like you get some good experience with it. All right, Zolo. Like, yeah, probably mid to late on the later twenty side, uh, and up is probably the safest bet. Yeah, I, and again, I think there's twenty seven year old women. I think there's thirty year old women. Where I'm like, this person is too immature for me, obviously. But I think like, okay. I think uh, I would probably. I, I need to. I think switching it to like twenty seven is probably the move. What do you What do you think, Jane? I think thirty to forty is a great age range for you. Thirty. Well, I've, I'm definitely going to at least forty five because okay. I definitely thirty to forty five. You know what I mean? There's some. There's some fucking. Uh, what do you call that? Soul cycle. Fucking forty four year old chicks who are fucking banging. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So thirty to forty five, I would do for you. I just. I think girls in their twenties, they're they're still finding themselves. I knowing you and the type of conversations you <laughs> like to have and the life that you live. I just don't think it's it's a waste of your time. Right. Unless you're just looking to for like a, some physicality, then I just don't, if you're mm. looking for a partner or yeah, somebody yeah. to have a relationship with, I would go above 30. Above 30, wow, 30, you're really 30 putting and, me. 30 and up. Yeah, I think, I think again, I think I think there are women who are fucking 28 who are fine for me. Like I, I, I Yeah, I, I but I can problem. even think to when I was like 28, 29, and I was always coined a mature 28, 29, but I think that's just because I didn't like to party but I was still really immature with who I was and how I viewed the world. My world was still right. so small, like compared to where I am now, where I just feel like I'm still obviously a deep work in progress, but I have such a perspective and like, it, it, it's just, and again, knowing you, I just don't think you would like it. I don't think you'd be fulfilled. I think you would get annoyed. I think you're right. I really do. Yeah, because I think what you're saying is is right, is that I need somebody who really knows who they are. Yes, like and it's who... impossible to know who you are when you're 20 or 29. You can't. You like you need you need a little more life under your belt, and you have spent so much time with yourself, <laughs> the and, most, and on yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That it's like I also don't want you wasting your time helping somebody figure themselves out. I would rather have you have a partner who's like comes in knowing who she is and can be authentic and then you go from there. But if there's a 20-year-old yoga teacher who's watching this and is upset right now, it's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. You know what I mean? Things, we, we'll figure it out. She might know who she is. She's doing yoga, you know? Yoga, yoga. Until she's 35 and she's like, well, wait a minute, I'm this person. I mean, listen, we all, you know, we all, everyone's, we all change. Everyone's allowed to, yeah. Everybody's changing. Uh, okay, I think we've talked about this before, but what do you think is the number where i think we might have talked about this like pajama pants but a number where if i showed up with a girl to your house if i was like i'm dating somebody and i showed up with her what's a number where you would look at me differently 25 25 so if you brought a 25 year old to my house <laughs> <laughs> the way you just looked at me i'd be like rob <laughs> 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 not I would I would be not disappointed but I would be I'd have you you know me too well and I'm I just can't fake it as well as I used to when I was younger yeah, like yeah, you yeah. would register my disapproval the last girl was in her 40s you approved I loved her yeah yeah, yeah. she's loved great. her I can't, I don't know, yeah, I think, again, I think for there to be a 25-year-old for me to date it would be so rare, but could you, like, I, I would, and I think we talked about this exact thing, but I would love to hear the conversation, I would love to hire an 18-year-old girl to play my girlfriend, just to come over to your house for, like, a day and be like, no, Jamie, like, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really into like, look, we're doing TikToks together. And I'm like fucking walking sideways and I'm like, I'm in love. I would convince myself that I had lost my mind. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And had been drugged. I would Heavily. just, I would just, because I would love to. Can you to... imagine Rob being an Instagram boyfriend? Like having to pause your walks to take photos of your girl, multiple photos of your girl, and then edit them. See, that doesn't even make me cringe as much as if I had to be involved. That's what I'm saying. You do. You have to take all the photos. No, but taking the photos is fine. It's once she's like, okay, but now I flip it to you. have you ever seen how many of those photos the girl needs? Like, 
many options. But again, that I don't have like other like that. I'm just saying that really doesn't bother me as much as if she was like, okay, I'm going to say my part and then you say your part and then we're being silly together. I'd be like, I want to jump off a fucking bridge. Mm -hmm. Or if it's like, hey, just take this picture of me because whatever. Like, uh, yeah, I don't want to do it, but it doesn't really bother me where if she's like, okay, here's like our script for our TikTok, I would blow my fucking brains out. Yeah. Like I I could just never, I I don't have one second in my life for that shit. (laughs) Like there's me just, neither. Me there's neither. No, but I would love. Oh my god, it would be so funny to hire like an 18 year old girl and then like have her talk to your kids like about stuff that they haven't. Con- you know what she's I mean? She's closer in age to my kids. That's what I'm saying. If she's like, yeah, I love like Dunkaroos or like whatever fucking <laughs> I don't know what kids. She'd be like, do you have any Cliff Kid bars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This episode is sponsored by DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Casino app and have your favorite real money casino games right at your fingertips. New customers who use my promo code not today and play just $5 will receive $50 in casino credits instantly. Choose from over 300 real money games, slots, blackjack, roulette, and live dealer games whenever you want. With more real money games added regularly, DraftKings Casino is changing the game with new ways to play. Listen, I'm going to New York soon. I can't wait to get there to get on DraftKings. I'm just, if you ever see me on my phone in New York, that's what I'm doing. DraftKings Casino has awarded over $100 million in jackpot winnings. If DraftKings Casino isn't yet available in your state, check out DraftKings Daily Fantasy app, where you have a shot at winning cash prizes all season long. And rest assured, DraftKings is safe, secure, and reliable. Head to DraftKings Casino app right now. Sign up using promo code NOTTODAY, play just $5, and instantly receive $50 in casino credits. You ever forget to apply your daily deodorant and get hit by a truckload of BO from all directions? Does that 3-in-1 shampoo leave you needing a second shower just a few hours after the first? Mando Whole Body Deodorant is helping men conquer their odor in a new way. Their long-lasting 72-hour odor control actually stops odor before it starts. Best part is, you could put Mando everywhere. Pits, packages, feet, skin folds, everywhere. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with my code not today at shopmando.com. Listen, what I love about Mando is no aluminum, no dyes. You guys know that's the stuff I look for. Mando's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, a cream tube deodorant, and two free products of your choice, like mini body wash or what everyone needs, deodorant wipes, and free shipping. Luckily, I have a discount code to help you get hooked on my new favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. New customers get $5 off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack. Use code NOTTODAY at shopmando.com. That's S-H-O-P-M-A-N-D-O dot C-O-M. It's time to smell better naked for your partner. Or if you're like me and don't have a partner, do it for yourself. Oh, God, that would be so fun. I should have oh, just did it without talking about you it. You should have. Because what I would want to do is tell Cutter, record the conversation after I leave, because I want to hear what is said. Oh, did you hear that people, oh, my God, I just heard the craziest shit that this girl, this woman in this, like, very affluent neighborhood here in Austin had a cocktail party at her house and had put ring cameras over different, like, in the front of her house and in the backyard of her house and whatever, like, discreetly and sat in her room for most of the party and just listened to hear if people talk shit about her. That's kind of dope. You think it's a G move? Oh, I just hate parties so much and I kind of like that. Can you imagine inviting people to your house and then ditching to your room just to listen to them talk? Just hear if they talk shit about you? Apparently, they did. Yeah, but see, if if anybody's going to talk, like, minimal shit about you it's gonna be in your backyard right you know oh no i guess like when women get together it's like look at that lamp right exactly. like they do shit like that Stuff yeah like that. Exactly. wow yeah. Oh, look at that like lamp the... right yeah like <laughs> oh, who oh. buys lamps like yeah. that yeah what is that a 40 watt bulb <laughs> we got okay so on love is blind uh this woman was talking to her guy and she was like y- uh, you watched it right yeah when remember when she was like you haven't kissed me all day yeah you haven't kissed me you haven't kissed me but then they say and then they're like oh but we had sex earlier right how does that i mean besides what a prostitute that's just from a girl that's feeling that he's not into her anymore because that was the case right he was kind of pulling away like a little bit kind of because i know i've only ever said things like that <laughs> when i feel like I'm worried that the person is not into me anymore. 
because my thought goes to, are, did he bang her without ever kissing her? Because listen, maybe if you're with That's someone- That's very possible. But listen, if you're with someone for fucking 10 years, yeah, maybe you bang them course. without kissing them. They're a week into the relationship. This dude's banging her, going from yeah. going from soft to nutting without a kiss is wild. Soft to nutting? Yeah, I'm saying like he's going from just like chilling to like totally done with sex without right. ever giving a kiss to a girl he's been with for a week. Yeah, that's crazy. That is wild. You can't keep your hands off each other when you're first in love. Yeah, that's yeah. like sociopath. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? that's, of course. I don't blame her for saying that. That's, that's a, no, 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 but I'm saying she said, but the thing is, I'm saying is, or is it her just being insecure? Like, I feel like you never kissed me when really he is. Cause remember in the thing, he's like, I kissed you today. Yeah, but that, but, but when you're newly in love and you're with somebody, you literally can't not touch each other. <laughs> she wants all the kisses. Yeah. But when yeah, you, yeah, especially yeah. in your twenties, aren't all those people in their twenties? I, yeah. A new I person so. I was dating, it was like, you couldn't stop. Can we can we get a check in the booth? How many people in there have had sex without ever a kiss being exchanged? I have many times. <laughs> or you're married for ten years. It's different. Um, you mean like once or, or with a with a girl? Period. Like what? Like our entire relationship? You're saying? All no, we did was like, like every once ever, in a while. Have you ever had sex where you went from like, hey, we're just sitting around the couch to like, okay, we're done with sex, whatever, thirty minutes later, and we never even kissed? Um, no, I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that. Something, something must have went wrong if that happened, I think. <laughs> right. Anybody else in there? No, I feel like there's no way that you can lead into sex and not start kissing. It's possible. I'm pretty sure one of us has. Oh, uh, Tanner? I got the biggest smile oh. on his face. <laughs> Tanner? Her breast stank. And, I, and, oh. and it was late. I just wanted to get the nut, so... <laughs> Oh, it sounds wow. yeah. He's on a piece of shit, but you're not a piece of shit. It's I okay. haven't talked to her since. It was like a late night Sixth Street extravagant adventure, and so yeah. this, but this wasn't a person that you're like with. No, not at right, all. No, right? No, I don't even remember her name. No. Oh, so there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking um, about Zolo. Any? What, what do you I say? I don't think so. You're right. No. Yeah. And of course, yeah, we're talking about you know relate more relationship even you know uh, Tanner's uh, Sixth Street escapades. <laughs> <laughs> On the on the dating show uh, tip lately on Ninety Day Fiance, there's been a lot of talk about toe sucking, a lot of toe sucking talk. So what I wanted for you to do is guess out of everybody in the booth, who do you think has sucked toes? Do you think anybody in there has sucked toes? No. No. Uh, you know what? I think Zolo's a little lover boy. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I think Zolo has sucked toes. And that's it in there. Well, let's get the answers. Negative. Not a, not a foot guy. Any Anybody in there ever suck toes? Uh, yeah, 100%. Oh, wow. See, I never, yeah. you never know what any, man. 100%. Yeah, you could have gone either way. Oh, 100 Yeah, you'd be like, what, are you crazy? Or, right. like, or like, hell yeah, I love sucking toes. You, know? yeah. you never know what any. I love it. No, yeah, there's something about the surprise about it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You fucking them, you put your fucking their foot up, Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't know, something about that, yeah. Yeah. yeah they yeah. never expect it. It's always a good one. Yeah, yeah it's like great. It. They it's never fun. expect it. <laughs> I've done it not mid-sex, just sitting on the couch. I'm more of a, I'm more of a suck toes on vacation kind of guy. Wait, nigga, you joking, right? No, no, no. Wait, yeah. so you a foot guy? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not like a big foot guy, but I'm just, I, a, every, when sex is going on, I'm an everything guy. I'm the, I want, you know, I want to... Uh, Wait, but you said not during sex. You've just done it on the couch. No, right? no, I'm saying like, you know, to kind of like, you know, we're messing around or like, you know, if I'm giving a girl a foot massage, like sometimes I would lay on the couch, like my girl would be massaging my feet while I was massaging her feet or whatever. Mm. And then it kind of starts leading to... Oh, I see. You're just saying you do it as foreplay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm not just like, I'm not just like, you know, handing her a water and then sucking <laughs> That's her toes. That's what it yeah, like. No, no, no. no I, just, I just meant, I just meant I've done it not like mid pump and, and foot in the mouth. You know oh, what I mean? Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. I've done it where we're just like, but... I'm more of a, a vacation suck on the toes guy. Like I want to be, I want to be like the beach the and we're right. flip flops and we're the, and then we're like back to the room shower and then it's like all right, let's suck some toes because I, I don't want it to. Be, I don't want I don't want to be sucking like New York City street toes. You know what I mean? I, I want I want to do like but Bahama toes. But that's right. part of why it's kind of hot though. 
Because it's yeah, not to me. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, I, there's a little shame behind it. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think I'm, just sucking you know. on somebody's toes is a little shame, but I think when you throw like dirt in there, especially in New York, New York City is just so fucking gross, man. I mean, that, to be fair, I have not fucked a girl from New York City, so you never know. Yeah, Maybe when, their feet be different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They they do. Like I oh, I remember man. taking girls like we would go back to my place and bloody feet all the time. Bloody feet? Yeah, because we would be we would go out in, in New York City and they would be in their whatever shoes and we'd be out till fucking four or five in the morning at a party this and it wasn't like every day, but there were I could think of like, like several because occasions. Of high heels? No, 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 where like there was glass or there was this. You're running around the New York City streets like Without shoes? No, no, no. Like in whatever, their open toe, like whatever, and somehow they like cut their feet or oh. yeah, maybe it's from like the high heels too. But I remember girls having like and girls who I was dating, but also girls who were just my friends, would be like, "Ugh, like I sh- I always forget not to wear these shoes when I'm right. out because they get blisters." Yeah, or like you know, it's just when you're in a New York City nightclub, like I don't know, I but again, Jamie, we we were going out seven well, nights a week say, for the ten amount of times years. You went like, out, the more yeah, probable that so it's this like happens. you know, there's yeah. glass. I mean, every night at the table, a glass breaks or something, and this, and then like you know, we're getting fucking wasted. Ay ay ay. Yeah, shit's dangerous. Going down. Dangerous out there. What are the mumbles back there? <laughs> oh god damn. It. Yeah, we, we were just, <laughs> it's a long fucking we were just saying imagine uh, uh cuz I was like, "Oh yeah, no, blisters would be gross." And then she's like, "Yeah, imagine like if it's in your mouth." I'm like, "Oh, stop, 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 stop." Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Don't do that. No stop. way. You got to do a full inspection. That's why <laughs> that's why I would never I've never sucked on a random girl's feet. It's always girl like, you know, my chick. Like at minimum yeah. month, you know what I mean? You got to know like this girl does not have fucking Of course. 100. Cuz on 90 Day Fiance when the girl was licking this guy's foot, they were camping, and she's like, oh, she's like, the middle part tastes like a cheese. And she was licking in between his toes, and she's like, it tastes like a cheese. I'm on the border. I'm my bar. Can you Google 90 Day Fiance toe sucking and see if there's like a photo of it? Because she, and wait till you, this couple, they're I the best couple on 90 Day Fiance. Photo? She is like a soap, a Spanish soap opera star, and Ew, he is just the. <laughs> Look at her taking his sock off. Yo, this dude. He, this guy has negative swag and he's with this girl who is, I mean, she looks like she would be on like a, what, what were those uh, soap operas called? Soberella something? Or, telenovela? Telenovela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she looks like she'd be a star of like a telenovela and she's sucking Gino's toes. Can you just put in Gino 90 Day Fiance and look at, bro, they, their relationship, they should have a, a show on, on their own because it's just, their relationship is the most entertaining out of all he is the biggest nerd. He is so scared of her. Like, I'm talking deathly afraid. She walks in the room and he, like, stands up straight. He's so afraid of her. And she... Sounds like me and Cutter. Yeah. She flips on him. And then she and then she was telling a story that she couldn't get him to come, like, ever when they would have sex. Like, he would never come. And finally, uh, she peed on him and then he came. Yo, they're wild, bro. Th- their their story is like the best on 90 Day Fiance. These two are, and he will never take off his hat. He will never take off his hat because he's oh, bald. Oh, there's one photo. I think that might be photoshopped. He will never, look at his eyes rolling in the back of his head on the right. You see that photo? He's so scared of her all the time that he's like, it's like PTSD. As soon as she raises her voice, he, he starts trembling. He on her? No, so we, I had asked you this before. He found... Um, she reached down, she dropped her phone in the car and then when she reached for it, she found a lip gloss and he's like, I've had this car oh. for 10 years. Like who knows? And she fucking, fl- she's like, I know you are sleeping with someone else. Like just fully flipped on him. Look, yeah, there's her screaming. I mean, these two are, I've never met somebody who's more awkward than this guy. And what she says is like, she's been cheated on before. So she likes the fact that this guy is such a loser. Yeah. And that's what, that's what attracts her t- and she says it. She's like, yeah, I love your shark teeth. Like, she talks about his horrible attributes and features. It's, they're the most interesting couple on the show ever. And they're just constantly, she's, one minute, she's like, I'm leaving you. I hate you. I wish I never married you. And then the next day, she's sucking his toes on, on a campsite. It's passion. Yeah. They, and she's like, oh, I know. I can be a little crazy. <laughs> and then he's just, <laughs> he's just always like, yeah, she's nuts. Like, he's. Yeah, it's uh, it's. I the hope best. they so last. Is, uh, is there any toe sucking in your life? No, never was. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I can confidently say never, like in my life, but no. But never where you were doing the sucking. No. Right. No. 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 
I can confidently say that. Does your girl suck your toes, any? Fuck no. <laughs> Hell no, that's different. That's fucking gross. I can't even get a pedicure, man. It's so weird when someone touches my feet. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh I've God. I've been with chicks where they're like, "Come get a pedicure with me," and I like uh, I like the massage part where they yeah. massage your yeah. pad. That yeah. shit is the best. Feels but, warm and shit. And, but yeah. you know what else? I think girls don't like you going to to do shit like that with them because you realize it's getting pampered. But when they tell it to you, they want to seem like, "Oh, I gotta go get a pedicure." Like, you know, like it's a, oh my God, I got to go, oh, I got to get a pedicure. And then you go do it and you're like, you're getting a fucking massage and being pampered. Like, yeah. why do you act like you, yeah. oh, I have to go do this. Who and it's like that? a treat. Come on, Jane. When you're, <laughs> when you're dating, when you're dating chicks, they're always like, oh yeah, I have to get a pedicure now. Like, you know, it's always like, like this, this job where it's like, yo, right. you're getting pampered. Like it's of a course. fucking dream. You of know course. what I mean? I hate going to the nail salon. <laughs> really yes because you're just sitting there doing nothing you can't watch the tv because it's on mute right and or it's in korean yeah, yeah. and the asian ladies are just like talking about you mm -hmm. and you just feel awkward and it takes forever oh, okay. damn have you, have you went to uh have you went to cute was it cute cute nails or some shit <laughs> around here I, I i put my girl there for her birthday and she said it was like she feels the way you feel about it because it's like it's so awkward and not, they never talk to you and if they do it feels kind of low-key judgmental um this place is like dope cute as fuck. nails and yeah i think cute nails i like it yeah, i like on, the name it's on, it's on cute South nails. yeah see i enjoy interacting with people who don't speak english i love it it's such a fucking treat because it's I, so limited. I feel no pressure. You right. know what I mean? Get it. I yeah, get you it. give the official like, "Hi, I'm a good person. You're a good person. Okay, now." And then it's just like, right? If I'm in an Uber and they're like, "Do you mind if I talk on the phone?" I'm like, "Please." Yeah. You know? Or they're like, uh, "Whatever they say, El Tolofono." I'm like, "Yeah, see." Si. Like you know. And then they're just for thirty minutes on the phone. I'm like this is a dream. Right. I want. I want no. Uh, it's the best. You yes. know. Instead of like, so it's hot today, huh? And you're like, yeah. You know. And I just trying to make small talk about the weather in an Uber or whatever uh, the fuck. It's, no, uh, I'm not into Uber talking. Do we, um, so, uh, embarrassing, something I wanted to talk about is like embarrassing teenage phases. Did you, do you ever have stuff where you see like photos or you remember stuff from your teenage years where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe. For example, I had like a- Like styles? I, I, I had a mushroom cut for a while and mm -hmm. that's like, fuck, that's like the one. But oh. it's what was in. I know, but it just looked because I was so fat too. Yeah. So you have like the mushroom coat with a big fat face. You just look like a fucking like mushroom. Like those butterfly clips I used to put in my hair. That was like bizarre. But you're Cuban. You could kind of get away. You know what I mean? If you're a white girl doing that, I think it's a little more embarrassing than if you're like, if you're half Cuban. Maybe, I, think I you guess. Can get, you could get away with like taking more risks, I think. I mean, I wore what everybody else wore. I was never original. So I feel like I can't hate on myself because it was like the style. Yeah, I mean, the most embarrassing thing for me is also is probably the Janko jeans. I did the Janko jeans oh, yeah. back in the day, Those which are kind of coming back right now. Are they? That look oh. is kind of coming. Yeah, oh, I think Tanner Tanner terrible. probably wears shit like, oh, is that, are you shaking your he head yes? He definitely does, yeah. yeah. Wow. Because, they, they, yeah, they back. But they like tight. when your whole ass is out, you know what I mean? Ass, like, your ass isn't out. No, yeah. like what your you underwear. Like they would be oh, hanging down. No, like, no, no, no. Yeah. That's Sagging's not the Janko not. look. Yeah, yeah, no, the Wasn't Janko. It? No, the Janko was when like the the foot, the leg of the pant went like all around your sneakers. They were like super oh, flary yeah, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you actually had to wear those like at your waistline because otherwise like. They'd be they would be just under, like under your, your feet. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Under your shoes, I mean. Janko jeans. Yeah, mine were, I had one pair that were wild. Like just, you couldn't see my sneaker. Is oh, it, and yeah, like the like those black ones. Yeah, but I had I had the fucking. You look like a South Park character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I had so I had that with the the wallet that had the chain on. Oh it. yeah, of course. Oh, what a dude with a fucking mushroom cut. What I don't know Hello, how I'm alive 90s. today. You know what's crazy is that'd be like the dopest shit right now. Yeah, everything you just described. Yeah, that's like the You're most right. fire fucking. And shit. then my <laughs> wallet was a black leather wallet that like buttoned, and there was a a smiley face on. It, but the smiley face was an alien <laughs> it was it was pretty it was pretty tough i gotta say uh, yeah you know and then like think and you, that was one of those phases where like my dad you know you guys know my dad but he he was probably 29 at the time and he would make fun of me like a 29 year old yeah. makes fun of a fucking 12 year or however old i was you know yeah. and he'd be like he would just be telling me how much i was gonna regret Wearing these stupid fucking, and he's like, you wearing you these stupid, filthy fucking jeans around my house because the bottom of them were disgusting. Of course. Absolutely. Do we have any like uh, embarrassing things that you guys did? 
You mean like like cringe phases? Yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. constantly in a cringe phase. It's just a matter of which one I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> it's the totally, one. <laughs> totally, totally, totally. You You're just constantly ring? growing out of no. a cringe phase. <laughs> I said, I said, this is just the newest one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but do you but, have uh, like, are there certain things that resurface from your past where you're like, God, if I just didn't have that haircut or? Oh, nigga, I, I had a fucking old shitty car with Lambo doors on it and underglow on it. Yeah, I was that nigga. Yeah, I had nothing but cringe phases, man. Non-stop. Yeah, I had the Lambo doors. I'd be picking girls up, and I had to, like, go outside because they couldn't, they didn't know how to close it, right? <laughs> so I had to walk out and be like, you know, close Such it on a my gentleman. shitty-ass Honda Civic or whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, man. What about it's anybody super, else in there? Embarrassing cringe. phases? No, I don't think I did. Really? Nothing that you look back on that if you saw a picture now, you'd be like, fuck, that's... I think... Growing up, I was always really lanky, so just in general, any picture that I have of me, I'm just like a very skinny, noodly looking little girl. I think that's the only thing that cringes me out a little bit. I was like a major Bible thumper for a while, uh, and yeah, that's a little cringy to think about sometimes. What 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 are the traits of a Bible thumper? Like, what are you? I don't even New York City. I'm like, I don't even know. Are you selling Bibles or are you <laughs> really really religious? Um, no, I just like did the church every Sunday and on Wednesdays and church camp on the summers and all of my friends were from church. It was just like hardcore Christian. How old were you? Um, that was probably like eight through 12. You guys ever steal the wine or anything? No, they only gave us (laughs) grape juice. Oh, boring. (laughs) They were giving us wine right away. Really? Yeah. When we were going to make our fucking communion or whatever, they were giving us straight fucking wine. Wow. And we would be like, yo, let's see who could take the biggest sip out of the fucking <laughs> thing. Because they would hand you the fucking yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah. And then you could just go. like, And they would always have to like re- be like refilling it at the thing. And then people would be like, oh, how... Dude, we went to my... We went to my sister's baptism. And I think it was the first time my grandfather had been in church in like 15 years. And for some reason, he got up to like receive communion. So they, they get like... He put his hand out for the wafer, and my grandfather took it, the wafer and put it in his back pocket. <laughs> Wild move. Like, we were like, Pop, why did you go up there? And he was like, oh, like, you know, out of respect. or whatever. But I'm like, yeah, but then you put, like, this thing the guy calls the body of Christ in your back pocket yeah. of your, like, jeans. Yeah. And he was like, you want it? And he, like, had, like, the crumbs in his it back pocket beautiful. and like pulling out the the chrome and I was like yo you're a wild dude that's that tracks yeah that my tracks grandfather was the absolute nuttiest oh my gosh but uh yeah all right well that's an episode we will see you next week